Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. You join me in buoyant mood because my work for the week is done. It's only three o'clock on Wednesday. Andy's gonna be home in just a minute. I have been working flat out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and until about midnight last night as well, Anna was playing her new game. And I just went back outside and carried on working. But I think I'm just about done. I didn't get two weeks ahead on my videos like I hoped I would, but I am ahead up until about Wednesday of next week. There's still a couple more, a couple more bits I need to tweak tonight. A little bit of editing and uploading and scheduling and that kind of thing. But I'm pretty much there. Tomorrow morning is all about tidying up, putting the house back together after a week of not doing any of that because I've been working and then tomorrow afternoon we pick Anna's mum up from the station and then I'm just going to be bouncing off the walls in this house as we prepare for Comic-Con on Friday morning. I am so very excited. Also a little bit nervous, not because of Comic-Con, but because for the first time we're going to send Andy off to school with Anna's mum here and then when he gets home, Anna's mum will be here and we'll be in London. We're on a train at like 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Since he's been back at school since September, um, we've never not been here. A, during the day, so if there's a phone call and anything's wrong, we can go and get him. And B, so that we're here to meet him when he gets home. So we are, well, I say we, I don't know if Anna's cottoned on to this yet or is feeling the same things. I'm deliberately trying not to bring it up because I don't want to scare her out of coming. But I'm a little bit, if we get a phone call at like 11 o'clock Friday morning saying, I don't know, like the other week when we got the phone call saying his eyes were hurting, could we come and pick him up? Well, what on earth do we do? Anna's mum doesn't drive. Do we come back from London? I guess we'd come back from London in that circumstance. Or what if we get a phone call at three o'clock? And this has only happened twice ever, but he knows something's up and might decide to try it on. What if we get a phone call at three o'clock saying he won't get in the taxi or he won't get out of the taxi? We're gonna be in central London two and a half hours away from being able to get home once you factor in getting back to King's Cross, getting back to Peterborough, and then getting back to our house. But we'd, before we even got on the train, the problem would be sorted or would have escalated so far that we'd probably just want to flee to Mexico. <sighs> so I'm a little bit nervous about that. But we're gonna pretend that's not the case and carry on being excited. Andy's gonna be here in a minute and we won't talk of this again unless it happens, in which case future Kev will be able to reference it and show that I was a genius all along and probably should have planned it all better. Yes. That's very good. You got your ditty song on? Yeah, I'm going to do that for finger for Andy, okay? Do you want to do it? Go on then. Yeah. Andy, you want me to do it as well? Andy, 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 Andy. Very good. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Excellent. I've also noticed that you can see the, where is it, the picture of me is the one that's on the screen when we get to do this bit of the day, which is awesome. And I probably should have planned that a little bit better because she hates that photograph oh so very much. Big news. Andy, did you drink water at school today? Yeah. Good boy. Got a note from school saying he just had water today. He refused his pop, just had water. Um, so what they'd like to do is they want us to send one more pop for him. But other than that, just send a bottle of water every day and uh, they'll keep the pop in the cupboard just in case it's ever needed for emergencies. But based on today, it looks like he's gonna be drinking water at school from now on because he's just been drinking water out of the bottle. This still all comes off the back of Alton Towers the other day and is awesome. Very good boy drinking the water. Yeah. It's very good. There's a Grantham Church. No bells, Sandy. Oh, you look at, he's looking at Grantham Church with loads of scaffolding over no, it. But no, but no bells, Sandy. Internet. No, there's no bells. It looks like they're fixing the bells. But the ropes are. Where have you found that picture? Is that the ropes, The rope. Ropes uh, are. Okay. It's just completely yeah, covered in scaffolding. Yeah, on Saturday we go grand from yeah. On Saturday, we're Mama's we're going to be here. Mummy and Daddy will be in London on Saturday. Yes, Mummy and Mama comes. Mummy won't be here. With the it's, Simpsons. I, so on Friday, on tomorrow, on Thursday, Mama's coming. Yeah. And then it'll be Mummy, Daddy and Mama on Thursday. But yeah. then on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. it'll just be Mama and Andy. With the Simpsons. And, <laughs> and you can watch the Simpsons as well. Does that sound good? Yeah. And then me and Mummy are going to London. Yeah. And I dare say we'll bring you back a present. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Excellent stuff. Right, well, Anna isn't here at the moment because she's doing one of her GCSE science exams right now. So 
I guess we'll just potter about the place while we wait for some news from her. I don't know if she's getting the bus or if we're fetching her. I suspect it depends on how the exam goes. If it's gone quite well, she'll probably just get the bus home. If not, then there's a good chance we'll be jumping in the car sometime soon, I guess. She's here! She's returned! More specifically, we fetched her, but I don't know where the GoPro is, so I couldn't do the normal oh, GoPro stuff. Sake. Plus, the car windscreen's really dirty. You know what we could do? Get a wipe and just wipe it. There's loads over there, look. Sounds like a lot of hassle, especially when I don't know where the GoPro is. And we didn't get to stop to chat while we were there anyway, because she was still at the side of the road. We just pulled in. Opened the door, she told me my music was too loud, she it got was. in, we drove home. I didn't even put the handbrake on. So, um, Good yeah. we didn't roll into any children then. There were no children there, it was like half past four. Everyone, everyone but you had gone home, I think. There was no one else around. Well, I did see one of my former students on the way there. So how did your exam go anyway? <laughs> we need more than that from you. There's not really much to say. What exam did you do today? Not sure because it was more yes, the day. Right. Yeah, I'll do it Hold in on. a minute. Remember, this lot don't know the detail you know. Was it for university? Was it for college? Oh, it's for college. So you did a GCSE science exam today? Yes, but what they said it was going to be and what it actually was are two completely different things. They said, oh, it would be on the practicals. Mm, there was one question about practicals, the rest was about, I don't know, some potatoes. Uh, so we a lot of potatoes on GCSE Science this year. For anyone potatoes. following the GCSE Science hashtags on Twitter, Percentages. potatoes and carrots come up a lot. Um, though I did know how to do the practical one. It was called the Eureka Cup or Beaker. Nice. I'm sorry if you would have saw it. Like, yes, I know this one. So, how many days is it now until your next exam? I don't know. About three weeks. Three weeks until your next exams. All that lovely revision time you've got now. No, no revision. I just, I did, I passed caring. Babe, stop it. Well, it's the GCSE. Yeah, I'm GCSE passed caring. GCSE doesn't really matter anyway. Um, but everyone keeps telling me, all the educational people. Keep what educational me people? My university people. When, have they, when was people. the last time you talked to them about it? When I had to go to I after it and you said yes. So a year ago. <laughs> so when you say everyone keeps telling me, you mean one it, person said it once. Someone else said it. I can't remember who. But, but these were both did. before you even started the degree. I still maintain if you pass the first year of your degree, they won't even ask if you turned up for the GCSE <laughs> exams. They just won't care because they're so irrelevant to what you're doing. But at least that's out of the way for a little while now. And now we've got all the excitement. Drive us there. She's so miserable. I'm not miserable. I'm taking her away for I've a weekend, been, living the I've high life. I every week, right, to do hard stuff. I, want, I just want to lay down. You can lay down tomorrow. <laughs> and you can lay down on, I don't know, yeah. next week sometime. I'm not doing anything on Saturday. I'm yeah, she's already sitting. planned. Because she's a crazy person, um, and we haven't got her a ticket for Comic Con on Saturday because we had to buy her own ticket for her this year. She's decided that rather than us going around London on the Saturday, which was the plan, she's just not going to leave the hotel until the evening when we go out for the meal. Um, she's just she's going to take her PS4 and sit there playing Detroit, which comes out on Friday. You're, we're just going to buy that, and you're going to sit there playing that in the hotel, assuming you can actually access the HDMI port and plug it in, because you might not be able to. Yes, I will. I'll take it off the wall. <laughs> They might not give you access to those channels well, and stuff. I, though. I, I hear other people take their stuff off. Oh, yeah, it depends on the hotel. So, you should be fine. But, but I just, just want to lay <laughs> on a bed and not move a lot because that I don't need to go around London and look at the same things that you take me to all the time. It's boring. You might find that fascinating. I find that so boring. So boring. It's our holiday. This is our holiday. But doing the same thing over That's time. what our holiday is. No. A holiday is supposed to be fun and you want to go look at a comic shop in Camden and then another one that's somewhere else. I want to the one in Covent Garden and the one in Soho. I went to the one in Camden last week. But you'll go again. I won't. Because you're a pub. Eh, that one's rubbish. Apologies so I... if you're watching for Mega City Comics, <laughs> but you know Forbidden Planet, let's and face it. And plus you want to go to Comic Con on Saturday. I want to go for the rest of development. Yeah, I don't. I probably won't because the idea of a convention of any kind on a Saturday just is appalling to me. I don't know if I can do it. What is he watching? What are you watching, babe? This, oh. this thing that he's got, the, the fidget toy, 
the little ball one. I don't know, someone must have sent that to him because I don't think we bought it. He took that to school today and he's been really enjoying it. So whoever sent that one, he's done that thing where he's discovered it and he's now really enjoying it. So thank you. In other news. Do you ignore him for the day? Look at the state of this. I'm not in here, I'm outside. Dave. Dave. Oh, bless him. Dave. <laughs> well, I think we'll refer to this as the calm before the storm. Every time I pick up the camera, Dave decides to do something behind me. Dave, sit down. Anna's already asleep. I've just had to wake her up so that she can take Andy to bed. Um, but he's already up in his bed as well, just watching his iPad. And um, I've just sat here and watched videos from Comic Con last year because I'm a loser and wanted to remind myself of what we got up to last year. Um, I'll link to them up there maybe if future Kev remembers to do it. It looks like we had a lot of fun, but also I just realised that I have actually got quite a little bit better at both structuring the videos while I'm recording them and editing them together because the first one, the Saturday of Comic Con in May last year, the half hour mammoth video, is a bit rubbish. The day looks fun, the video not so much. So if you were around then and you snuck or stuck around after that, Goodness me, well done, and expect better this year, hopefully. But I am going to leave things there for today because I'm heading out, back out there now, to do just my final two videos, and then I am completely done and ready for the weekend to begin. And it begins tomorrow, Thursday, with housework and stuff. But, you know, at least work is done for like five or six days it's like a proper little mini break that i'm having if you have enjoyed today's vlog please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs and thank you very much for watching